Well, this is a very special and exciting moment for me because I've always wanted to learn how to shape stones, to take raw stone from the mountain and shape it like a professional would into building blocks to build our house. It's something that I've spent a long time reading about, learning about, watching a lot of YouTube videos, but nothing compares to having an expert, a professional right in front of you that you can um, watch, observe, ask questions to and learn from. And this has been um, a huge learning process for me. I've um, kind of put the camera down for quite a long time just to uh, focus on the work and to uh, learn what I'm doing. And I could not be more thrilled to have the opportunity today to learn. So the majority of what we're working on right now is actually shaping the uh, the cornerstones or the, uh, the all of the stones at the corner of the house. So they need to have uh, two sides perfectly shaped because they will be seen from two sides. Um, the more sides you shape, the more difficult it is. Uh, Alessio is actually working on the windows, which need three sides visible. I went ahead and I tried to make one myself and did not go very well. It's a little bit too difficult for me right now, but I'm handling the cornerstones decently well. So I'm quickly learning that half the battle is actually selecting the right stone uh, for the, the shape that you want to make. Some stones based on the veins running through them or how thick they are can handle more shaping and other stones you have to be a little bit more delicate and might not be able to handle um, shaping it into a cornerstone, for example. Um, so I'm learning how to kind of walk through the stone pile and pick out the right stone for what I'm trying to make.
So Italians are very proud of zero kilometer food. What they mean by that is that the food has not traveled any distance. It was grown here and it's more um, farm to table is what we would say. Well, this is a zero kilometer house, I guess I would call it because we harvested all of these stones from the mountain, from the area that I'm standing here. And now we're shaping to use them as building blocks for building this house. And not only that, but I am um, harvesting the lumber and the wood from up in the mountain, the chestnut, and using those as the beams for above the doorway. It's definitely a labor of love, but to know that the building supplies were all harvested from this site is a very cool thing.
bellissima bellissima Well, hey, I could not be more thrilled with how these stones are shaping up. This is a skill that I've wanted to learn for a very long time. So to have the opportunity to work side by side with Alessio, who is an absolute master at shaping these stones, is a huge honor for me. But for now, I'm taking a quick break to tell you about my daily habit of drinking AG1. AG1 is a daily foundational nutritional supplement packed with 75 high quality vitamins and minerals from whole food sourced ingredients and supports your mental clarity, focus and energy, and supports your immune system. AG1 is packed full of probiotics and stress adaptogens, which the stress adaptogens is one hard to say, stress adaptogens, but that's a big one for us because Heather and I have noticed a huge reduction in our overall stress, a boost in our mood, so much so that if one of us is feeling and showing signs of stress will joke saying, have you drank your AG1 today? The ingredients in AG1 not only help support healthy aging, but also help support cardiovascular health, cellular health, brain support, and even combats the visible signs of aging. So you can't let the color of AG1 fool you. I realize it looks like a blended salad, but it tastes great. It has hints of vanilla, hints of pineapple. It's sweet and it's something that I enjoy drinking. To me, the three most important things to make sure you're living a healthy life are number one, making sure you get enough sleep, Number two, making sure you get enough exercise. And number three, making sure your body has the nutrients it needs. Well, getting enough sleep is hard to control and we know how getting enough exercise goes, but number three, getting enough nutrients with AG1 as your daily foundational nutritional supplement, that one's easy. There's a reason you hear so much about AG1 on YouTube. For us, that reason is that it's the number one product that we believe in. It's made a big difference in our life and when you find something that makes a big difference, you want to tell people about it. So go ahead and scan this QR code with your phone or use our direct link to visit the website because doing so not only helps support our family, but more importantly, we want you to give it a try. By using our link to sign up, you'll get five free travel packs and a year supply of vitamin D3 and K2, as well as this tumbler and AG1 canister. You have nothing to lose as there's a 90 day money back guarantee and I want you to see if it makes as big of a difference in your life as it has in ours. So go ahead, check out the website, take ownership of your health and thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Well, good morning. Today is a very exciting day because we are finally starting to build up the brand new stone walls. The last couple of days, we've been hand chiseling the stones, mostly for the corner pieces, as well as the doors and windows. And we're finally gonna start using those stones to build up the new room. So of course we first have to build a wooden frame for the new room. This serves um, the purpose of both making sure the stone walls are straight as well as these uh, yellow panels behind me will um, act as a backer to hold the mortar which will secure all of the stones together. Hey. 
Heather's actually not able to come here today. Um, she's busy doing other things. So it's gonna be uh, quite the transformation, I think, when she finally does get to come and see tomorrow. It's one thing to make a plan on paper and a drawing. It's another thing to actually be in person and see things being built in reality. Um, we had a plan for the placement and height and size of the door and window, and after measuring it out and placing it out, um, it just did not work, did not match the rest of the aesthetic of the house. So we made a last minute decision to um, shrink the height of the doorway a little bit and make the window a little bit smaller, move things around a bit to match the old style of how the rest of the house was built. <laughs> So now that we have the uh, walls framed in, we've got the doors framed in, the window framed in, the entire wall is covered in a rebar mesh. Um, we're now stretching out our line to get a level line for placement of the stone. To give you an idea, um, we have all of these stones that we've cut to exactly 15 centimeters deep. These are gonna be the internal visible stones here that we're gonna stack up through the doorway. And um, these wooden frames are just that, they're frames currently to frame out where to place the stones to make sure that everything is um, square and beautiful. The first stone. The first stone. So this is a um, clearly a pretty big moment. Not only is this the, the first stone going in, um, but he gave me the honor of both allowing me to place the first stone as well as choosing the stone that I shaped for this corner piece. Um, it may have taken me probably close to an hour to shape this stone um, because it was the uh, first time I'd ever shaped something this large before. And um, uh, it means a lot that he would choose that, um, that it was good enough to be placed um, as the first stone of the build. All right, so we just placed the stone threshold, which of course is a very uh, special moment, and especially knowing that that threshold was made right here. 
Um, watching him make that threshold yesterday and then again today, continuing to chisel away at it um, is extremely impressive. I'm learning so much, which I'm, I'm both equally excited about the progress and how beautiful the house is looking, as I am about the amount that I am learning that then can be applied for future years ahead. Very good. <laughs> Bye. So the system that we have more or less evolved into is that I'm kind of like the hound. I go out and I sniff out the, the good quality stones, bring them back, do the initial shaping to them, and then pass them off to them. And if there's any final chipping away work that needs to be done, but we are clipping along quite well here. Uh, it's slow work, of course, building with stones, but I'm more than impressed with the amount that we've accomplished today. Seeing the cornerstones come together, all of those corner pieces, as well as the door opening come together, it's it's incredible. Those are the stones that we've been working on the last couple of days. They take the longest because they have the most sides to shape, um, but when you place them all together, it's just absolutely beautiful.